we actually once a patient comes uh then what we do is we just stop broach about the topic we uh, say that because this problem is there and then we can try out, we do a few investigations just to make sure for example patient has got a blocks in the blood vessels that supply blood to the heart sometimes we can do a bypass or angioplasty and see that the heart function improves sometimes there is a valve that is damaged we change the valve or repair it they get better so we make sure that all these things any of these things are not possible in this patient then tell the patient and family there is an option like this transplant and we are not sure whether we are eligible for it or not we need to do a series of tests for example see one of the important things is the pressure in the lungs when the heart gets damaged the pressure in the lungs may go up. when we bring a new heart and put it it is not extempt to pump the blood against high pressure in the lungs so it fails immediately so we make sure that the lungs pressure is low and then we make sure they do not have antibodies you know these days we get so many infections or so many autoimmune problems sometimes people have antibodies which can fight against the heart the moment we put it destroy it immediately it is called acute rejection so make sure there are no antibodies they do not have any active infection like viral infections sometimes cytomegalovirus many infections so we took a, we take, make sure that we do all these tests see that they do not have any contra indications relative or major most of the people less than 65 years of age you can manage provided other systems are the brain is fine as i said sometimes we have to do a combined kidney and heart transplant combined heart and liver if only two organs are affected if three or four organs are damaged then we cannot do and sometimes people psychology is so that in a situation of when they are desperate they say you do you do anything we will do everything but when you analyze through the help of a social worker we realize that they are not taking medications even for simple problems before and when you do a major surgery like this they don't take the pro- medic- medications they will die because of rejections so we need to make sure that they are psychologically stable they have a good social background you know see someone is single they do not have anyone to take care of them even if they have money it is a problem we need a social support this is a major problem that lifelong you have to take medication you need to depend on the medical professionals to keep you healthy so we need to make sure there are no diseases we do a battery of tests it takes about 4 to 5 days time and with that we come to a conclusion probably he doesn't require or probably we cannot operate and probably yes we can operate this patient is likely to do well so that's how we come to a conclusion doing this test